Hello, and welcome to part 8 of this Tekka tutorial series. Today, we're going to be learning about how to make food, and agriculture, and effective, effective systems to gain all this food, and generally be efficient about it. So, first of all, I'm going to go over a deployer. Now, a deployer takes six cobblestone, some redstone, a chest, and a piston. And it is literally that simple. Now, what you can do with a deployer is, not, not with seeds, obviously, is if we get a block of cobblestone, and inside the deployer we put the cobblestone, and we get... Let's get out of this and go to like a redstone torch, for example. If we put this down, boom, it'll spit that out, and it's gone. So it's a bit like a dispenser, apart from it puts things on the floor. Brilliant. So the next thing we're going to make, obsidian pipe. Now an obsidian pipe, basically, if anything falls on the floor in front of it, then it will suck it up. So it's very useful for automatic farms, which we'll be coming on to in a bit. So I'll show you this first. Just ignore those crops down there for a minute. So here I've got this, this nifty little section set up, ready. So what I'm going to do is going to get some redstone and I'm just going to like this all the way down. Oh, not jump inside it. And then down the back all you have to do is attach it to a button and connect it up around the back like so. Like this. Just connect it up around the back. I don't know how far this will go so I'm going to have to get a repeater. Uh, as we're not using red power, so I think a repeater about here should do it. And maybe one here, just in case. So, and then all the way down the back here as well. Now you have to power these with a redstone signal, otherwise they won't do the job. So you just plop this down. I don't know why I've got this bit here, but it's there anyway. So I'm just going to skip out while I fill all these with seeds, and I'll be back in a second. So, as you can see now, oh, where have they gone? Oh, they're still in, my, still in my pocket. I've filled all these up with just a stack of 64 seeds, and I've got a button here. Now, if I can get into a decent angle, like so, if I press the button, all full. And then these will just grow, and then you can harvest them or whatever, and it'll be great. So, if you want to see a more advanced system, I've got this system here, where it's a similar thing. But it's got an automatic water system and a timer around the back. So I press this, the water will come out and it'll drain it down. And this is a good place to use our obsidian pipes. So I'll put that there and one there. And as you see, anything that falls into the top of it gets sucked in. I mean, th these won't because uh, we broke it slightly. So now you can see all the water's gone and the timer will start ticking away. And any second now, it'll open up the deplo deployers. Deployers? Yeah, deployers, that's the one. And boom, there you go, refilled. And now, these obsidian pipes, they can work for reed farms as well. So you can see here, I've got all these reeds grown very nicely. Similar system, uh, where I've got a glass beam down the middle and pistons either side. So if I press this lever, for example, then all the pistons will move in, crushing the, the reeds, and it'll fall into the cobblestone pipe. Not the cobblestone, obsidian. Obsidian pipe, excuse me. Now, I could have done this with a button, but who, who knows. So, but the best way I've found is this system here. Now, it's a little bit complicated, and it uses all this multicolored pipes at the back here, but we, we can cope with that. Now, what it does is, one of the, this deployer on the right deploys a, a seed, this one on the left deploys some bone meal, and then a piston pulls the thing under the water, so it destroys the things. And as you can see, it's pretty fast. But it is very resource intensive, so you want to be careful of this. So I'll just turn that off quickly. And head back over, over here. So, next we're going to go over some things called crops. Uh, a crop matron. Some fertilizer, empty cells, hydrated cells, coolant cells, green powder, weed killer, and a crop analyzer. Now, as you can see behind me, here, 
I've got this lovely little garden and I'm going to show you how to set one up in a second once I've shown you how to make the things. So a crop is basically a couple of sticks that you slam in the ground and you can attach seeds to. And that's simple as that and it's made with similar to the boot recipe just for two sticks you'll need quite a lot of these so I'll just grab a couple and here this is for a crop matron which I don't seem to have placed in I'll just plop one of these in uh, this is for you need two electronic circuits a chest a machine block and some crops you've made now this is really handy this will stop you doing everything by hand this is basically the farmers farmers saving grace now next, this, this is, now this is important, you'll need fertilizer, which is a scrap metal, or scrap, and a piece of bone meal, and you'll get two fertilizer for this, and you'll need lots of the fertilizer, because that helps your plants grow. And we're going to need some hydrated cells. Now to get hydrated cells, we're going to need to create some empty cells, which is four tin in a circle. And then what you can do is, you can get an empty cell, stick it with a bucket, or if you don't have a bucket with water, you can just find a, a lake or the ocean and just right click it and that'll fill it up. Next thing you want to do is in your extractor is you extract the water cell into a coolant cell and then you put it back in the extractor, the coolant cell, and then you'll get a hydration cell. Now a hydration cell is like a watering can, that's what it's used for. So when the plants get a bit dry, you water them. Now green powder is made by macerating a spider eye and you get this fancy green powder and to make a weed killer you take another empty cell put some green powder and some redstone and you get yourself some weed killer next thing you want to make is a crop analyzer and what this does is when you get a seed packet you can analyze it and it'll tell you its properties now I'll explain this a bit more in a second but it's made from a couple of copper cables, some redstone, an uh, electronic circuit, and some glass. So I'll take this with us. So I'm going to head over, head over to here, and as you'll see, I've already got it set up a little bit, so I'm going to just replace this quickly. Uh, I've got a pipe, not a pipe, a cable that goes up here and all the way around to my bat boxes. So you place your crop matron in here, and you open it up, and you'll see it's got different slots, and you just put the the weed X in the right hand slot as it wants and hydration cells in here and fertilizer in the first section. Right, and basically what this does is in a 9x9 nine nine, I think it's a 9x9 nine nine area a 9x3 oh, 9x3x3 nine three three area it will fertilize and water and kill any weeds that you get which is pretty handy, I'll tell you now, because if you have to go around and fertilize every plant, then it's a pain. As you can see, it's already used a bit. It's already used a lot of weed killer, a lot of fertilizer. And I've got this little handy chest here just full of stuff, just in case it runs out. Ooh, ooh, just, just what we needed. Right, so basically, what you need is a little small plot of land like this, with a block of water in the middle. And if you just plop these on on the foot, on the horde land, you get these little sticks popping up. Now what you can do is if I swap to normal mode, I just get a couple of things like this. You can pop a reed on here, for example. I went on that one instead. Now if you watch out the hitbox on these is quite large as you can see there's like you might not be able to see this on YouTube, but it's quite a large area that it, yeah, when you hover over it it shows. So as you can see, if I put all these down, come on. Why won't that go on there? I have no idea. I'll try a different seed. No, not there. On here. Weird. Let's get rid of that. Try again. That is that is weird. I don't know why it's doing that. They want me to put it down. I'll try I'll try a flower instead. No. Nope. It just won't let me put it on it. That's that's very weird. Uh, a bug, maybe. I'll drop that on the wiki along with this video. But as you can see, you get these little things. I think these were pumpkins and this was melons, and this is a sugar reed. And they'll they'll grow up the up the little sticks, and you'll end up with something like this. Now, as you can see, what you can do is you can to harvest them. You just right click, 
and what it will do is it will just cut the heads off the flowers or if you do it to this uh, sugar cane or add it to this bit of wheat, if you do it to this bit of wheat you get the wheat and it just regrows from there which is very handy which means you don't need to replant anything but as you can see I've got some of these corner corner plots which I haven't filled in on this one so what you do is you'd put a stick down and then on top of it you put another stick so you get this little cross hatched uh, crop now this is called a cross breeder and the, adja the adjacent plants uh, such as this pumpkin and this melon will have will cross pollinate on this section and create a brand new plant or maybe just a better version of that plant so if I go and find a corner piece like this this nether wart you can grow nether wart you can also grow cocoa beans which are very handy so I'll so harvest this oh and I've done it wrong okay just ignore that ignore that what you want to do is if you want, if you want to collect if you want to destroy this patch not not harvest it you would left click like so and as you'll notice I got a little an unknown seeds packet now what you do here is you take your crop analyzer and you right click it just anywhere and you get yourself a battery you don't need this nether wart now I will say I think this is a bug but the battery will run out every time you investigate something so you can see here it tells you it's cocoa beans it's a tier 3 discovered by Notch as he's the one he's the creator of the game uh, it's brown, it's a food, it's a stem type plant, and it's got stats. Now it's got growth 0, gain 1, resistance 1. Now this is that's how fast it will grow. This is how how much you'll get from harvesting it. And uh, this is how resistant it is to stomping on it, dropping water on it, etc. etc. So it's quite a, it's it's pretty pretty standard. Now if I look at this, it's an unknown crop. But if I check out my my reed here that I planted, as you can see down here, you just right click on the plant and it tells you what it is. But it says read uh, growth five gain zero resistance one, so it'll grow super fast. So I could just have harvest this. If I can even click it, why can't I click things? Maybe it's not fully grown yet. What's with these seeds in my hand? I just can't click anything. That's weird. But as you can see, harvest it and it'll grow again almost instantly. Now this, well, let's get rid of these. Let's throw them over there. Now this one here on the corner is a cross between some reeds and some wheat. So we'll get this and we'll get the seed packet. And I'll swap this out. And as you can see, this battery that I put in is now dead. So bit annoying. I don't know if it's a bug or or something, but it's it's terrible. So as you can see here, reeds, growth three, gain zero, resistance one. And you'll get a different result every single time. Uh, so this this reed, uh, this wheat even, might be more, might grow faster, and be more resistant than this wheat, as this one is a crossbred one. Now, as you can see, you can crossbreed all sorts. I've got pumpkins, melons. This is a weed. We don't want weeds. Uh, we weeds grow if you don't fertilize it enough. So obviously my machine can't reach this corner. But you see this one here. This is this is a brand new plant. And it has no idea what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to harvest this. We've got two seed packets off it, so brilliant. And we've got some purple dye, or some magenta dye. And there are about seven to ten different types of plants that you can get. You can get hops, um, spiky poison plants, you can get like all sorts. And the only thing is you can't summon them into the game, so I can't actually show you them without being able to grow them myself. But, fortunately, we were lucky enough to get this magenta plant. So I'm just going to quickly inspect this and see what it is. Now unknown seeds. It's a tulip. It's a tier 2. It's discovered by Al Blaker, which I presume is the inventor of the mod. And it grows pretty fast. You don't get anything bonus from it. And it's fairly resistant. So it's pretty good. As you can see, what you can do is if we find an empty plot of land like I'll just destroy this uh, that there. And I've got my tulip seeds, so I just right-click them on there, and they'll plant. So that's it for, for farming. But you can get all sorts. And once I've grown a few more, and I've got a few different varieties, I'll do an update video on this to keep you in the loop. Uh, I just want to say one thing. 
Oh, let's swap back to creative mode so I can fly. With these solar panels, now they produce one unit of electrical energy each, and they will send this down the pipe. Now, if you imagine the pipe is like like the pipes that you have and you transport materials down them, if you imagine every item is one uh, electrical unit, and they all get stored in this bat box. Now, these glass fiber cables, even though they're good, they lose one electrical unit every 40 yards. And so, if, you've, if you're only sending one unit down them, and they travel 30 yards, it's going to get rounded down. Because these only take whole numbers, as you can see. They don't take decimal points. So it's going to get rounded down to zero. So make sure to fix this. If you do, if you are travelling over a large distance, you add a battery box somewhere, roughly 20, 20 along the way, so you don't lose too much energy, and that will solve your problem. And this this was found out, pointed out by someone who commented in an earlier video called T Odd Men Out, and I actually went to his server and gave him a hand and helped him fix it. So if you if you you've got a server, you need some help. Just drop me a comment and I'll stop by and help you out. Or if you just want some, some help building something, I'll drop by if I can. I have time. And give you a hand. So I hope you've learned a bit about crops. And if you want to see... Oh, if you want to see how to make any of these complicated um, crop systems over here, uh, drop me a comment and I might, might be tempted to do a walkthrough on how I made these. But thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for more coming soon. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.